In this video, we want to solve the following problem. To determine at what pressure would water boil at a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. You can pause the video now, attempt the solution of the problem, and then when you're finished, restart the video to see our solution. Welcome back. To solve this problem, we need to apply the Clausius-Clapeyron equation. Recall, the equation tells us that the natural log of the partial pressures will be equal to the enthalpy of vaporization of the liquid divided by R times the inverse of temperature 2, temperature 1. For this particular problem, we can write a more convenient expression for the terms that are written inside the parentheses. And the best way to do this is essentially to find a common denominator, which ends up being T1 times T2, and the resulting expression looks like this. T1 minus T2 divided by T1 times T2. So, in this particular problem, what are the specific numbers that we need to use? Well, again, we have that P1 is 1 atmosphere, 760 tour. P2, in this problem, is to be determined. T1 is the normal boiling point of water, 100 degrees centigrade, which is 373. 0.15 Kelvin. T2 is 37 degrees centigrade, which is 310.15 Kelvin. The reason for selecting 37 degrees also is it is the uh, body temperature of human beings. Let us first evaluate this expression, T1 minus T2 divided by T1, T2. And we notice that the numerator, 63 Kelvin, and the denominator ends up being 30 Kelvin squared. So the result is going to be 0.00540. 48 inverse kelvins. Recall that the enthalpy of vaporization of water is 40.653 kilojoules per mole. And we often convert this immediately to joules so we know that one kilojoule is equal to 1,000 joules. So this gives us the enthalpy of vaporization of water as 40,653 joules per mole. The other quantity, which is going to be useful, is the gas constant R. And we need to use it in the form 8.3144 joules per per Kelvin mole. And we can evaluate this particular fraction immediately. So we want to evaluate the ratio of the enthalpy of vaporization of water to R. And we see that it's 40,653 joules per mole divided by the gas constant R, 8.3144 joules per Kelvin per mole. And we notice that the units of joules cancel and that the units of inverse moles cancel. And that gives us a result of 4,889.47 Kelvin.
now we can begin to substitute into the equation. On the left hand side we have the natural log. We know the pressure 1 is 760 torr. And the secondary pressure, P2, is to be determined. We know that this ratio of the enthalpy of vaporization to R is 4,889.47 Kelvin. We also know that this expression in here is equal to 0 0.000. .000 five, four, four, eight inverse Kelvins. So that's a good thing to see because now we can cancel the units of Kelvins and inverse Kelvins. So the right hand side becomes unitless, which makes sense because since we're taking a natural log on the left hand side, we know that that has to be unitless as well. So the right hand side becomes 2.66399 for the left hand side. And what we can do is to eliminate the natural log on the left hand side, we raise the left hand side and the right hand side as powers of E. And once we do that, we use the property that e to the natural log of x is equal to x itself. So that gives us the left hand side being 760 torr divided by P2 is equal to e to the 2.66399, which is equal to 14.353. Now we can rearrange the equation, multiply both sides by P2 and divide each side by 14.353. And that gives us that P2 is equal to 760 torr divided by 14.353, which gives us a pressure of 52.95 torr. What does this mean? Well, we know that at a pressure of 760 torr, the normal boiling point of water will be 100 degrees centigrade. If we want water to boil at 37 degrees centigrade, we need to reduce the atmospheric pressure to 52.95 torr because the vapor pressure of water at 37 degrees centigrade is 52.95 torr. And we have boiling, boiling occurs by definition when the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the external pressure. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.